The Fisk Jubilee Singers, a group of African-American singers established in 1871 at Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee, is one of the earliest and most famous black vocal groups known for the performance of slave spirituals. The Fisk Jubilee Singers are the very first commercial recording artist. Lil Harding Armstrong, born in Memphis, Tennessee in 1898, studied piano and organ and played in her church at a young age. She was attracted to the blues from which she knew from Bill Street, near where she lived. She studied music at Fisk University for one year and moved to Chicago where she established several bands and tried her luck as a singer and songwriter. Eudine Smith-Moore was a notable and prolific African-American composer of the 20th century. She wrote more than 100 compositions, although only 26 of them were published in her lifetime. Much of her work was composed for choir or voice, and many of these were inspired by black spirituals and folk music. Moore attended Fisk University and became the first graduate to receive a scholarship to Juilliard. Moore is most widely known for her chorale works, Scenes from the Life of a Martyr, a 16-part oratorical on the life of Dr. Martin Luther King. This piece premiered at Carnegie Hall and was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize. John Wesley Work III. John Work was born on June 15, 1901 in Tennessee. He was awarded the first prize in the 1946 competition of Federation of American Composers for his cantata, The Singers. In 1963, he was awarded an honorary doctorate from Fisk University, where he was the director of the Fisk Jubilee Singers and an educator for 39 years. This graduate and big band leader, Jimmy Lunsford, had a well-disciplined orchestra which was one of the most influential in the swing era. Jimmy had 22 recordings, more than any other black band except for Duke Ellington and Cab Calloway's. Among his hits, Rhythm of Our Business and My Blue Heaven. In 1940, Lungsford's orchestra won a battle of the bands over a field of 28 groups, among them Count Basie's, Glenn Miller's, and Benny Goodman. Fisk University legend Dr. Matthew Kennedy was born March 10, 1921 to a teacher and a postal worker. He began playing the piano as a young child and later went on to perform at Carnegie Hall. In 1932, his mother took him to hear Sergei Rachmaninoff in concert. Dr. Kennedy came home and began imitating the Russian piano stylings, which won him a scholarship to Juilliard School of Music in New York City, where he performed with Duke Ellington at the Apollo Theater. Dr. Kennedy was the leader of the Fisk Jubilee Singers for 23 years. Singer, songwriter, producer, Lanier Ferguson, a Fisk graduate from 1972, founded the Fisk University Modern Black Mass Choir. Lanier wrote for many recording artists, such as Amy Grant, who recorded his song, Beautiful People, Lanier's first album was called Nothing Could Be Better. Cassie Gardner Jr. was a part of the family dynasty of K. Gardner and Sons Funeral Home. Cassie was known for his unique style of jazz arrangements of country greats such as She'll Be Coming Round the Mountain and Old Lonesome Me. As a producer, Cassie produced the best in R&B. Famed group, The Whispers, was one of his greatest acts. Famed record producer Ron Coleman got his musical training at Fisk University and was a Fisk Jubilee singer. As a musical director, he has worked with notable acts as Aretha Franklin, Frida Payne, Gladys Knight, and Tina Turner. Grammy-nominated recording artist Donna McElroy is an associate professor of voice at Berklee College of Music. Donna recorded an album on Warner Alliance Records called A Bigger World. Donna also toured with Amy Grant and Crystal Gale. 
case of Honey was an American recording act formed in 1971 by associates Janet Marie Johnson and Perry Kibble. In 1978, they had one of the best known chart toppers of the disco era, Boogie Oogie Oogie. After their popularity waned during the 80s, Johnson went on to record a solo artist, released One Taste of Honey, which produced numerous minor hits. In 2004, singers Hazel Payne of Fiskite and Janice Marie Johnson reunited for the first time in over 20 years. Singer, songwriter, and former Fist Jubilee singer, class of 1976 Tony Wells, became the A&R director for RCA Records. Former Fist Jubilee singer, Deborah Tillery is a contralto opera singer who has toured seven countries. She has performed before the late great opera singer Marian Anderson and pianist Yubi Blake. Deborah also sang at the memorial service for the poet Maya Angelou. Educator, pianist, and composer George Cooper is the founder of the Ella Shepherd School of Music in Chicago also the founder of the Fisk Jubilee Singer Alumni Association and the Fisk Heritage Award. Autumn was an R&B band that originated out of Fisk University in 1978. Its founder George Cooper and Daryl Jones along with Van Bradshaw and Randy Smith recorded several demos in order to land a record deal. They wrote many songs including Without You that features the vocals of Kim Fleming. Autumn was featured in the movie Crush Groove with the single Cold Crush. Songwriter, composer, arranger, instrumentalist, teacher, and producer. All these things speak of one day in the life of Derek Lee, CEO and president of Derek Hole Music. In 1981, Derek Lee joined forces with Dr. Bobby Jones and became the musical director of BET's Bobby Jones Gospel, working with such legendary artists as Kirk Franklin, BB and CC Winan, Donnie McClurklin, and Yolanda Adams, just to name a few. Carol Strong Thompson is originally from Memphis, Tennessee. She received her BA degree in music from Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee, and while there, traveled with the famed Fisk Jubilee Singers. Carol is a member of the Praise and Worship team at Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas, and is currently working on her first recording project. Deborah Roundtree, Ziggy, is not only proud of studying voice with Professor Boombalis at Fisk University, but she's also proud of studying with William Wakefield at the University of Illinois. She's also privileged to have played the roles of Violetta in La Traviata, Musetta in La Boheme, and Bess in Porgy and Bess with the Lincoln Opera Company with full orchestra. Kim Fleming is known in the music business as the first call for backup vocals on commercial master recordings, jingles, film, and TV scores. She is a casting director, a contractor, an arranger, a singer, and songwriter. She is also sang with some of the biggest stars in the music industry. Fisk University music major Lisa Nelson has traveled nationally and internationally as a pianist and accompanist for such artists as Jennifer Holliday, Bobby Jones, Aretha Franklin, and Anita Baker, just to name a few. She has also appeared at Carnegie Hall and performed at Madison Square Gardens. Deborah Tillery. 
Kimberly Clemens. Gwendolyn Brown. Outstanding Fisk alum Gwendolyn Brown is an opera singer whose career expands throughout. Gwendolyn has performed with the Lyric Opera House of Chicago, the Washington National Opera House, and Gwen has premiered Negro Spirituals for the African American Art Songs. Few singers can portray stories of love, life, and loss with heart-wrenching accuracy like Marie Trick Garrett. As a solo artist, she is open for Gladys Knight, Hiram Bullock, and Stanley Jordan. She's also made a guest appearance on the NAACP Image Awards. Mandisa Lynn Hudley, professionally known as Mandisa, is a Grammy and Dove Award nominated American singer who was ninth place finalist in the fifth season of 2006 American Idol. Kyla Jade Harris and Eric Lynn Copeland. Both are natives of the state of Kansas, both have beautiful voices, and both appeared on NBC's The Voice. Here at Fisk University, music has touched and changed many lives, and you've just seen alumni living their dreams.